Midjourney's Style Tuner tool is a whole new way to prompt artistic styles, matching the styles to your personal preferences. Midjourney didn't just come out with one or two new styles. Midjourney Style Tuner gives you a staggering number of style variations to choose from. There are billions of styles, and yes, I said billions with a B. Now you essentially have unlimited styles in Midjourney. Let me show you how to master this massive upgrade. It's a little confusing, so I'll walk you through step by step. At some point during the video, your head might just explode. The style parameter is not new. Midjourney already has styles. If you don't include the style parameter, you're using the default Midjourney style. A very popular style in version 5 is Style Raw. Style Raw is more photographic and stays closer to your prompt. But it also means Midjourney isn't going to make your image beautiful, though you can add beauty through words in your prompt. Style Raw takes away a lot of Midjourney's style preferences. In version 4, you also have Style 4A, 4B, and 4C, and Style Cursed. I did an entire video on these styles when they were released. And in each journey, you can prompt Style Expressive, Style Cute, Scenic, Original, or use the default Niji Journey style. And now with Style Tuners, you also have Style Random. Type dash dash style random after your prompt, and Midjourney will choose one of the, well, trillions of different styles. Now don't get the style parameter confused with the stylize parameter. Stylize is how much of Midjourney's default aesthetic you want to see in your image. You can use the stylize and style parameters together for an interesting mix. Now with the Style Tuner tool, Midjourney has given you a new visual way to prompt for styles. Instead of prompting using style words, you're going to tell Midjourney what you like by choosing images. You do this by selecting from pairs of images from a style tuner. The pairs probably represent some artistic element along a continuum. But they aren't labeled, so don't get too tied up in figuring out what each pair is measuring. Just go with your gut. Tuning a style is telling Midjourney your preferences. Let's experiment using a pre-configured style tuner that Midjourney has provided. You can follow along using the link in the description below. The prompt used to create the style tuner is a woman and her cat stock photography. Later, I'll show you how to make style tuners with your own prompts. So start by picking one of the pairs. Just pick the one you like best. Skip a pair if you don't like either image. If you change your mind, click the middle or neutral box. Don't think too hard about it. Just go with your gut. You don't have to be consistent or have a reason for your choices. You can pick one image or 30 images. It's up to you. The fewer choices you make, the bolder the style. Selecting a preference from most or all of the pairs will kind of wash out the style and bring you closer to Midjourney's default style. Once you make your choices, you'll get a style code. This represents your personal preferences. The code looks like a random string of numbers or letters, but it represents your personal preferences. But in this case, you're not going to know what your style looks like until you run the style with the prompt. Copy the prompt, including the style code, and run it in Discord. Compare it with the original. Notice how different the result is with the style code. Now reset the test. Let me make some different choices this time. I'll only select a few images. Now run the prompt again with the new style code attached. The images look totally different. Each time you make a set of choices, you'll get a different code. If you make the same selections, you'll get the same code. But if you change just one selection, 
you're going to get a different code and a different look to your image. There are two ways to view the test. Switch to the big grid view and you can see all the pairs at one time. In this style tuner, you have 30 combinations, each with three choices. You can choose the image on the left, on the right, or choose the center neutral option. After a bit of math, that works out to 205 trillion combinations. No, check my math. I'm pretty sure all of us making selections wouldn't come up with exactly the same combination. That makes it unique. This is your unique artistic preference. So now you have your personal style code. You can use it with any prompt you want. This code is my favorite so far, so let's add it to other prompts and see what I get. Enter the prompt as usual, and then type dash dash style and copy the code. Midjourney transfers the style you chose for the cat prompt onto a new prompt. The images look very different, even if I keep the same seed. That's the magic of Midjourney's style tuner. The style code interacts with the prompt content and aesthetics to give it a unique look. Let's see what the same style does with a nonsense prompt. Wow, that's a different result. You may have noticed that there are sometimes coherency problems. The prompt is pretty straightforward, but with the styles, the cat can sometimes be malformed or other oddities appear in your images. Midjourney is encouraging creators to share codes, so feel free to use any of my style codes on your own images. And if you want to share the exact combination that led to this style, share this link and switch out the code at the end for your preference. Is your mind blown yet? Well, get ready, we're about to take it up a notch. You can create custom style tuners with your own prompts. This lets you see what the image might look like in the various aesthetic combinations. Now, the examples are closer to what you want to create, so you can make more specific visual preference choices. Start by choosing a prompt. Choose a prompt that is typical of the type of images you like to make. The Midjourney team recommends using prompts with no parameters, but this is only a suggestion. In the message bar in Discord, type slash tune and enter your prompt. You can choose 16, 32, 64, or 128 pairs. Tuning takes a lot of your fast hours, so you might want to start small. The 30 pairs in the pre-configured style tuner seemed about right, so I'm going to choose 32, which seems to be the default. Now click Submit. This is going to cost me a third of a GPU hour, so it's a good thing I earned a free hour yesterday by rating images. Now Midjourney says about making 64 images based on your prompt, or 32 pairs. It does take a few minutes and you'll get a link to the style tuner page. Now it's the same process as before. Choose from the pairs of images. Each image is now a stylistic version of your prompt. Remember, you don't need to make a selection for every pair, just choose the images you like. When you've made your choices, copy the prompt plus the style code and run it in Discord. Now remember, you can use your style code on any prompt. It doesn't have to be the one you use to create the style test. And you can use the style tuner test as many times as you want. Make different choices and get a different style code. Style words in your prompt interact and may compete with the style code. So let's try this same process with a random prompt, 
with no style words. I'm going to make a style tuner with 64 pairs. And notice you can choose between Mid Journey's default and raw style mode. Wow, so many different styles. I chose just six out of 64. The images created for the tuner aren't included in your gallery, but I do wish some of these images were in my gallery. If you really like an image, choose just that one image and copy the style code. Now run it with your prompt. You'll get something close to the style. Notice I've used a whole fast hour between these two style tunings, so be really careful. Making a style tuning test takes a lot of GPU. You have to create a lot of images on the same prompt. But creating codes from these tuners is free. Create as many as you want and feel free to share your codes and even your style tuner web pages with others. Watch until the end of the video and I'll share one of my favorite style tuning pages with you. You don't really need to create a style tuner test page for every prompt. The style tuner is the same tool, no matter what sample images it displays. The images just help you picture how that particular prompt would look in the various styles. This might be a little confusing. The prompt itself doesn't affect style tuning. Midjourney simply uses the prompt to create the pairs of images that you're going to choose from to tune your style. So you can use the Midjourney free tuners or run the tuner on only your favorite or most typical types of image prompts and use the style codes on all your other prompts. It's easy to make a lot of style codes, even if you're using just one style tuner test. You're going to need a way of keeping track of your favorites. Option sets are the perfect solution. Type slash prefer option set in the message bar. In the option box, type a short, memorable name to describe the style. Now click value and enter dash dash style space and copy the style code. Click enter. Now instead of typing dash dash style in the code, type dash dash and the memorable name. Feel free to add other parameters like aspect ratios that you like to use. If you make a lot of these option sets and you lose track, type slash prefer option list and you'll get a list of all your parameters. When you make a style tuner test, you'll get a message from the Midjourney bot with a web link. You spent a lot of GPU hours on this test, so use the test again to create a new style preference code. The style parameter works with stylize. Stylize is a range between 0 and 1000, with the default being 100. If you don't want any Midjourney aesthetics interacting with your style, set Stylize to 0. If you want a lot of Midjourney styling, choose a number closer to 1000. You can also use the style parameter with aspect ratios, chaos, and tile. And if you can't decide which style code you like the best, there's no need to choose. You can chain these codes together. The code itself is a personal style, and chaining codes together makes it ultra unique. Type in your prompt, type dash dash style, and enter the style codes separated by a hyphen. You can also combine codes with dash dash style raw. So to recap, style tuning creates a code that identifies your personal preferences. You can apply this code to any prompt using the parameter dash dash style. Use one of Midjourney's pre-configured style tuner tests to create your style preference code or tune your own preference test using your own prompts. Midjourney's style tuner tool is mind-blowingly amazing. 
you no longer have to prompt for the look you want. Just pick a few artistic looks that you like and Midjourney does the rest. It's a bit overwhelming. You could actually spend the rest of your life on just one prompt exploring the different styles. The Style Tuner lets you see so many possibilities for your images. I'll put the link to my random Iversution tuner in the description below, and you can make your own styles. Choose three images or 30. Share the style codes you create with us in the comments below. And remember, you can combine style codes. If this video was helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.